Thank you, Councilwoman Lynn Shulman. Um, at this time, we'd like to uh, ask to come to the podium our Israeli, from the Israeli consulate, Itai Milner. Salam Ubracha. celebrate in Hanukkah? Can someone tell me? What do we celebrate? What's the biggest thing? Or the oil that lasted for eight days. Yes, the, the oil that lasted for eight days. The yeah. miracle, the miracle of the of the menorah that kept the flame in our uh, sacred menorah. Um, that was quite a miracle. That's what we, for generation, for millennia, we, uh, we celebrate uh, for, se for seven uh, days, for eight nights. And, um, and, um, and we try to always remember that uh, God is with us and God is protecting us. But uh, this year, we also had some miracles. We had no shortage of miracles. How else would you explain uh, that a hosted situation in a synagogue in Texas ended up with no casualties? How would you explain that a gunman uh, just looking to uh, to kill innocent Jews in New Jersey was stopped just before he uh, accomplished his plan. How else would you explain the hundreds of attacks across this city that so far, thank God, um, did not end with many casualties as it could. But um, but there's also other similarities between back then and today. Like then. Um, the miracle could only keep uh, the flame and um, protect what we have, but it does not eliminate the threat. To eliminate the threat, we have to do something of our own. We have to be unified, we have to work together, and we have to fight those who try to uh, hurt us. And the threat is also similar. Just like the ancient Greeks, there are also today people who don't think that uh, we have the right to practice our Judaism and they don't think we have the right for self-determination just like every other nation in the world. And we have to answer these people. We have to answer those haters with more commitment to what we do. And we have to fight this darkness with light. So happy Hanukkah everyone. Chag Sameach. Thank you very much.